Hey guys, today I'm going to discuss with you about loops in Java. We will cover for loop, while loop, and do while loop. Let's get started. So first of all, let's go and create a project, Java project. Let's call it loops demo. Right click over there, create a class. Let's call it loops class. static wide man there we go first of all let's see integer i is one i will start with if and then i will go to while and for and do while loop let's see with simple if block if condition is i is less than 10 if this is correct, i is one right now, one is less than 10, true. Print something, system.out.println. Let's print i. All right. So how many times this statement will print? Or i will print? In this case, because it's if condition, if it is true, it will just print once, okay? Uh, if never goes back, if just prints one, unless if is inside a loop. So, because it only, if executes uh, once only, so this will print once, so let's see. Just once, right? However, if I want to print starting from one and until nine, so what will I do? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, until nine. So what should I do? In this case, I will simply change this if to while. This is another keyword. So while will make this block as a cycle. It will keep circulating again and again. Okay. However, we need to be careful about one thing. If I just do like this, what is happening is I, which is one, one is less than 10, true, go inside, print one. Now while we'll pull it back, it will go back and check the condition again because it's a cycle, cycle, cycle. What is I? I is still one. One is less than 10, true. So continue, continue, continue. It will be infinite loop. So we should not have a program that has infinite loop. So let's see, how does it look like? Yes, if you see here, and here it's it's one, 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 one. I'm not doing anything. So it's running by itself. So this is infinite loop, which is not a good thing. So let's stop it by clicking here. So we need to break this loop or we need to terminate this loop at some point. That is very important. Otherwise it will continue, continue, continue forever. Now what we want to do is that print one and then go back. But this time it should print two, three, four, and so on. So what we'll do once it prints one, we say, okay, I plus plus. Now first time, first time i is one, one is less than 10, print one. Now make i two, now it will be two. Go back, two is less than 10, true, print two. And now make it three here. And continue, continue, continue. There will be a time when i will become nine. So nine is less than 10, true, print nine. And then come here, it will become 10. 10 is less than 10, no false. So now loop will terminate because condition is false. So in this case, it will go out and we don't have any other thing. So program will terminate. Let's see what will it print. Or now you can see it is printing from one to nine. There is no infinite loop, all right? How about if I want to print 10 also, the digit 10? So I will just make it like this. So continue. Uh, so uh, 
the uh, print 10 also because one time it will be 10. 10 is le uh, equal to 10, true, print 10. And then it will become 11. I will be 11. 11 is less than equal to 10, no, go out. So let's see. So we also got 10 now, okay, from 1 to 10. All right, so this is uh, one of a while loop. Uh, let's make it a for loop, okay? So for for loop, I'm going to delete this one. And it has a little bit different syntax. So instead of while, we use the keyword for, and inside this parenthesis, we need to do a few more things, okay? So let's see what. I still want to print from one to 10, okay? In this case, I say integer I can declare inside this body of for loop i is equal to one. Okay, same thing that we did before. And i is less than equal to 10. Now in this case, i plus plus. This is the syntax. So remember that's plus plus we did just now. We had all these things in while loop also right but few things were up few were down okay so i is uh, less than equal to okay so the rest is almost same right i did not change uh, here uh, but here i need to re uh, remove this one no need for this one because this one is being done here no need for this one all right so in this case i is one print one okay but uh, so we start like this i is one one is less than equal to 10 is this true yes true go inside the block print i i is one after printing go here this way now and make it two i is two two is less than 10 true print two and continue 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 right there will be a time when i will become 10. 10 is less than equal to 10, true, print 10, and go here. I will be 11 now. 11 is less than equal to 10, no, it's greater than that. So then no, don't go inside for loop, go outside. Okay, let's print, same thing, same result. Okay, so uh, we initialize with one value, check the condition, go inside if condition is true, and then go this way and increment it. So in the cycle, this is again a cycle. In the cycle, these two things are being checked again and again, again and again. Check condition, go inside, do something and print it, all right? So this is a very simple thing. Now there is another loop that is called do loop or do while loop, okay? For that one, we have a slightly different thing. I still want to print one to 10 using do while loop. Okay. So for that one, there is a slightly different int i, i is one. Now there is a keyword do, but we don't put this parenthesis there and do. We just start with the curly brace. So this is the block of do. I said do while, so where is the while? While will be at the end of this curly brace here, while. And we will check condition here off and we must put semicolon. Okay, many students, they forget about this. So we must have this one. So in the condition and the while loop, same condition we can put i is less than equal to 10 continue. So this has become do while loop now. i is 1 without checking any condition. Just go inside print i which is 1. i is now what? 1. 1 is less than 10. Yes. Go back and print 1. This is again infinite loop. Right. So let's see which is not good. So if you see here in console it's infinite loop. Okay. See a is blinking. Actually it's printing and it's going here. Oh, 
all the way down. So let's terminate this program. Now what should we do? I print I, which is one in the beginning, then I plus plus. Now I is two, two is less than equal to 10, yes. Print two here and make it three and continue, continue, continue. There will be a time when I will become 10. 10 is less than equal to 10, true. Come back, print 10, and now I become 11. 11 is less than equal to 10, no, it's greater than that, so go out. Okay, now the same thing, see? No infinite loop, it stops until one. All right, that's all for today. Thank you very much.